A lack of funds coupled by financial impacts brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic has left many football fans skeptical about the future of Kenyan football. Hi guys. Uh. However, in what comes as a sign of goodwill from leaders and fans alike, ANC party leader Musale Mudavadi today donated a cheque to aid the team clear payments for its 20-acre piece of land donated to the club by the late retired President Daniel Arap Moy. The difficult times and the challenges of sports in this country, and particularly the soccer, has made it difficult for AFC Leopards to pay the required stand premium and charges for them to be have their land processed. So what we are doing today is presenting the full amount that is required of 633,000 to AFC Leopards payable uh, to the Ministry of Lands and Physical Planning so that they can pay for that deposit. And today, the journey of housing AFC Leopards, putting in a physical infrastructure in the longest, in the oldest team in this country, starts. Uh, Honorable Msalia, we are grateful because the journey you began when you were patron many years ago now actually begins afresh and officially. I would like to appeal to the members and football fraternity of AFC Leopards. Meanwhile, AFC Leopard Secretary General Oliver Sikuku has called upon Football Kenya Federation and the Kenya Premier League to reach an amicable solution regarding the status of the league. This will help clubs to plan either to resume or eventually prepare for the next season. Since the cancellation of the 2019-2020 KPL season, Kenyans have witnessed the back and forth between FKF and KPL as to who has the final say in regards to Kenya's top-tier league's affairs.